we got that one. It was well timed, I and mean, we needed a game after the the weekend. Uh, but we know the, the the biggest game of the week is Saturday, our first true road test. So, you know, I, you know, I don't know how much better we got tonight, but it's a thirty point win, so we'll take it. It was all things were considered, yes. Uh, and uh, in, in the end, um, there were just a couple of factors, and, and it went right up to the game time before we made that decision. And once again, it seems whoever we start doesn't play as well as whoever comes off the bench. So, um, but yeah, every, everything was, all spots were open and still are. From what you saw tonight, do you think you'll stick with this five for Saturday, or is that too far out? I think I just said all spots are open, and uh, will continue. Will continue to be. Did you see better I guess, execution, attention to details, those kind of those kind of things tonight? Uh, I thought we. I thought our motion offense was pretty good. I think we uh, were pushing the ball, transition much better, um, and once the once the transition didn't produce anything, we were. We were Moving the ball and sharing the ball, cutting pretty well. Um, Going to have ball movement, player movement, and that's something that was not as good as uh, what I would have liked over the weekend. So that was what we're trying to improve upon. So pushing the ball in transition, is that a lot of Deshaun? He does a great job of spraying the ball in transition. He still is not comfortable if the spray is not there doing it off the bounce. He likes to give it up most of the time. But yeah, he's he's much better at that than the other point guards. Uh, Ronald just seems to have been all, all season just really solid. It seems like he's in the right place most of the time. Very solid. How's he kind of progressing and, and earning more and more minutes? Well, he's, just, he's playing well on both ends. He's rebounding, he's defending. Uh, he can score the basketball inside and out, as we've seen, um, and, and, and gives us great effort. Certainly, a guy that we were counting on in our rotation. 15 assists on 20 field goals in the first half. I know you talked about moving the ball better. I, I mean, what's the difference in that from, say, the Bahamas to tonight? But what does it take to get them to move the ball more? Well, it takes guys not just staring at the ball with their hands out, wanting the basketball back. You've got to be able to move pass it and know that there's going to be a few passes, maybe a ball reversal or two before a shot's taken, unless you've got a layup or a dunk or a wide open shot. And if early movement or transition creates that, fine, take it. If not, move the basketball, move yourselves, don't stand, don't point, don't, don't become a tree and grow roots. Move and move yourself and the ball and ultimately with good cutting and spacing, uh, the ball will come back to you. You know, but what what we the problem that we've had we've had guys that only know how to play with their hands out, wanting the basketball back. And that's not as good. Are there a guy or two who are demonstrating that what you want well? Well, tonight most of them did, and when they didn't, they they took a seat. Marcus seems better able to drive to the rim and more determined to do that. Has he improved his, I guess, ball handling, his determination to get in there? Uh, yeah, he does a pretty good job slashing. Tonight, there was one play in particular. Uh, we, ran, we ran a ball screen, and he was in the corner. And I think it was Rano that rolled after the ball screen. And whoever came off the ball screen threw it back to um, Marcus after he rolled up. We call it roll up. You're in the corner. There's a ball screen going away from you, and you roll up. We threw it back to Marcus. Rano was open for a split second. He couldn't get it to him. So then he drove baseline right in front of our bench, left, and uh, was able to get an and one. Shaq seemed real vocal in the back of your press. Um, did you notice any difference with him uh, coming off the bench and his production today? Um, I thought he was 
I thought he had some big boy moves. Now, again, that guy was really big. He had D1 size, but there was no one else out there that could compare to the athletes that we saw in the Bahamas. But tonight he's 7 for 10 from the field and had some big boy moves. So we'll see if he can do that on Saturday against uh, Colorado State's players and then whoever else we have after that. But I, he, he handled coming off the bench very well. And then since we won't see you between now and then, Colorado State, what do you notice out of them so far? And what's the preparation like for them? I will get into them tonight and tomorrow. I don't know much about them. I do know a couple of their players. I've got a scouting report here. Their games are loaded on my computer. I'll be able to tell you more tomorrow and, uh, and, and Thursday.